The Aquos crystal is well named, well, at least when it comes to the crystal part. Its 5 inch display isn't anything crazy at 720p, but it runs right to the edges of the phone, coming closer to fulfilling the promise of the bezel less smartphone than any other handheld we've tested. That sounds like it'd make the phone tough to handle, but in practice, at least for the few minutes we played with it, it really doesn't. There's a small chamfer on the edge of the display protection, which further enhances the phone's futuristic appeal, helping to make up for the fact that it's just plastic. The components you'd usually expect to see at the top of the phone have been moved or redesigned. The front-facing camera is mounted low on the chin, alongside the microphone, and the earpiece has been replaced with a direct wave receiver that vibrates the display to transmit sound. About the only place the Aquos crystal disappoints for me is around back, where the black or white plastic around its 8 megapixel camera bears a dull dimpling and a generic feel. The phone is powered by a 1.2 GHz quad core processor, almost certainly a Snapdragon 400, with 16 gigs of storage expandable up to 128 additional gigs using microSD. The juice to run it comes from a small 2040 milliamp hour battery, and the software is close to stock Android 4.4.2, uh, though there are some sharp value adds, like the swipe to screenshot gesture. Also, Sprint has bundled the same Clarify and Live Stage sound enhancements as found in its HTC One M8 Harman Kardon edition, which won't be too useful on the rear-firing speakerphone, but will come in handy when listening to discounted Spotify music over headphones, which, by the way, won't be included in the box, no matter who you buy the phone from. Considering the eye-catching nature of this smartphone, maybe some of its shortcomings are surprising, but the price brings everything into focus. When it launches, the Aquos will retail for $239.99 with no contract postpaid, $149 on prepaid boost or virgin, or zero down and 10 bucks a month on a Sprint postpaid plan, which also includes new incentives like bulk data discounts for families and a new subscription service called App Pass, which offers premium content and special incentives and things like that. It all adds up to some surprising value, especially considering just how bold the design of this nearly edgeless device really is. I'm really looking forward to reviewing the Aquos Crystal once Sprint offers up a review unit, and we'll keep you posted on availability information as we get it. In the meantime, we'll just say that for the budget-minded consumer, Sprint and its prepaid subsidiaries just got a bit more attractive thanks to Sharp. <laughs>